So I'm going to show you how to do a break in the Y axis on graph pad. So if you are making a new graph, you want to go to data tables and add a new data table. So for what I'm doing is I want grouped, which is tends to be a good one or column for QPCR data. So just create this. And it will just kick out some random numbers, which I'll play with. And then it will come up with the graph of that data down here. So if we open that, and you can change the type of graph you want as well. This one's pretty standard for what we use. Just make it a bit bigger. So if I want to break around 40, whatever it is, all we do is click this one, this format axis. If you go to the left Y axis, gaps and direction, and then you can choose how many segments you want. So say we want two breaks, so three segments, click that, and then you can set your minimum. So the lowest would be zero, and then we want a break, I don't know, 40 middle say we want a break between 40 and 60 so we'll start again at 60 come back at 80 and then the top let's say 120 150 okay. it's created three breaks it's not the best breaks for this graph but it doesn't matter and you can move the size of the breaks to do what you want and if you double click it, I think you can set how many times you get, how, uh, yeah, how, many, how often the data comes up on the graph. So we want every 10, for example, looks a little bit nicer. Okay.